how to get an elementary bachelor's degree in as little as one year at the school WGU, also known as Western Governors University. That is what this video is going to be about. In this video, I am going to reveal to you the secrets that I've been telling my clients over the last few years in paid consultations, and I'm even going to give you a cheat sheet that is gonna make these strategies and tactics as easy as possible. This is going to be an insanely value-packed video. Typically, a bachelor's degree is going to take 5.1 years on average, and using these methods that I'm gonna teach you, it's going to be relatively easy to get this bachelor degree to two years or less. And in extreme cases, in terms of the time enrolled at WGU, there have been people who have gotten a bachelor's degree in as little as two months. And this is a legitimate, respected, top 10% school that is regionally accredited. So if you appreciate me giving you all this value completely free, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it right now. All right, so this is gonna be a very simple four-step process. First, I'm gonna break it down, and then I'm actually going to give you a live example of exactly how this would be done using a spreadsheet that I created that's basically a cheat sheet that makes this entire process super easy. But before we get into that, I want to quickly say that make sure first you select the degree that you want, and then based on the degree you want, you're gonna go ahead and select a university. Now the types of universities you want to select for doing this accelerated process are going to be what's known as competency-based universities. Now WGU is likely the best competency-based university, but it doesn't have all of the possible degrees that you can get. So there are some other really good alternatives, and I talk about that in this video right here, so make sure you check that out. But with that being said, WGU is a great choice for a lot of people. It's not perfect for everyone. So I talk about the pros and cons of that, in that video as well. So the first step you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, get your transcript and your experience ready, talk to WGU, talk to a counselor, and transfer all of your existing credits in. And you will be surprised because there is a lot of things they accept that many universities don't. So for instance, in many cases, they will accept military and work experience as credit. And on top of that, they accept all the normal stuff like AP and IB classes you might've taken during high school, any courses that you took during college, uh, certifications and certificates. If you've taken CLEP exams, for instance, they'll accept that as well. So yeah, make sure you spend your time. Don't skip this process. Uh, make sure you get all those classes together and then transfer those into WGU. At that point, you will get a list of classes back that you still have to take. At that point, you're not gonna enroll, right? Because they're probably gonna be pressuring you a little bit to enroll at WGU. And that makes sense, right? Because the sooner you enroll, the more money they're gonna make because they want you to spend as much time at WGU as possible. But you're gonna go ahead and move on to step two, which is you are going to use third-party companies to test out of many of the remaining classes. Now for the BA and elementary education, you do have to take 40 total courses. And you can very comfortably test out of about one class per week, even if you work a full-time job, you're super busy, you've got a family, et cetera. And many of my students have told me, especially with the entry-level classes, you're able to test out of like one class per day, sometimes even two. And you do this using third-party companies like study.com, straighterline.com and sophia.org. Now my favorite for these in order, generally speaking, is study.com is on top, it's my absolute favorite, then sophia.org, and then straighterline. Now some people take this extremely seriously and they, you know, they take like certain classes at study.com, certain classes at Sophia, and certain classes at straighterline. But if you wanna keep it simple, just take all of them at study.com. In my experience, it's the most straightforward, it's the easiest, and it just works. Now, if you don't believe me that you can finish this really quickly, here's a post from Reddit uh, where this person is talking about, you know, how I don't see that many posts about education degrees, but I wanted to share that I have completed my bachelor's in elementary education in two terms with 26 days to spare. And this was while they were working full time while being a husband and a dad. And they say WGU has been my best educational experience ever. So if you follow this process that I'm giving you, you can finish WGU extremely quickly. Now there are some people saying on the WGU subreddit that it's no longer possible to finish it in one term. I'm not sure exactly if this is correct or not. Maybe people can comment down below and let me know. But apparently because there's like an experiential class, you have to get matched up, it's no longer possible to finish the degree in one term. 
but you can still finish it in two terms, which is about a year. But yeah, considering the average college degree, the average bachelor's in the United States takes 5.1 years, finishing it in two terms is pretty awesome. Now, once you have taken all these classes using study.com, and by the way, the cheat sheet, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below, definitely check that out because it makes all of this super easy and we are gonna hop into it and break it down even further here in a moment. But yeah, definitely check that out and you can follow along while you're going through this video. But go ahead, transfer those classes in from study.com and then move on to step number three, which is you're not gonna enroll yet, you are going to pre-study the remaining classes. Now, the reason you are pre-studying the remaining classes is because again, you wanna make sure you graduate as fast as possible because at WGU, you pay per term. So you're gonna pay around $3,500 or so, it might change by the time you see this video, per term. And you wanna to try to get this done in two terms if possible, and that's gonna be a cost of $7,000. Now, WGU also offers scholarships, grants, and financial aid. So many people do end up graduating from WGU with zero debt. But the best way to figure out strategies for studying for classes and then passing the tests is two different ways. One is you're gonna to go to the WGU subreddit and people will be sharing tips and tricks. And then two, there's also a WGU Facebook group, which is really cool. Now for both of these, there are often specific WGU subreddits for the degree you're getting as well as Facebook groups. So make sure you search for those. There's also a ton of other resources out there. Obviously Google and YouTube is great. Uh, there's Khan Academy, which is free. You can also buy textbooks for relatively cheap. You don't need to buy a new one, buy one that's a few years old. And you can even buy just like an online textbook so you don't even have to have the physical one. But yeah, definitely make sure you pre-study these classes so that once you enroll in WGU, you can knock them out as fast as possible. And that is the next one on the list. When you feel confident, you are gonna enroll in WGU and try to knock those credits out super fast. And like I said, there are examples of people who are able to finish in a year or less. And the great thing about this is you don't need to quit your job. You don't need to move across the country. It's all extremely practical. It's extremely flexible, and you can get it done much quicker than an average degree. So let's go ahead, jump into the cheat sheet, and I'm gonna take you through step-by-step -step how you would do this. All right, so this is the cheat sheet, and I'll quickly just go over some basics here. Uh, on the left, you see the class ID. The next column is going to be the course at WGU. The next column is the amount of units or credits in that course. And then finally, you're gonna have the study.com transfers. These are the transfers that, you know, English 104, for instance, matches up with English Composition 1. And if you take the English 104 at study.com, you can go ahead and transfer that in to WGU very easily. Now, by the way, uh, all you have to do to use this yourself and go through these exact same steps is go to file and then make a copy. And then you can do the exact same steps. This is gonna make everything so much easier. And if you do wanna use study.com, uh, you can save 30% on your first three months with study.com using the code Shane Hummus during checkout. So they gave me a nice little discount code for you guys. And also it does help the channel. So if you appreciate all my hard work doing this, go ahead and use that and it'll help us out a little bit and I appreciate it. So let's go ahead and move on to step number one, which is you are gonna go ahead and transfer in existing classes. So in this particular case, I'm just gonna make this up. Let's say you took uh, AP Biology during high school and you also took AP Math during high school, like AP Calculus. So you transfer those two in and then you took one semester of community college and you transfer in communications, art, astronomy, as well as Health 101. So you already have a few classes knocked out right away. Then once you've transferred those in, you're gonna go ahead and move on to step number two, which is you're gonna test out of the other classes that you can test out of. So you test out of all these classes right here. I put the mark through to sort of indicate which ones those are. And the reason you use study.com instead of enrolling in WGU to take these classes is quite simply because it's faster, easier, and more affordable. Now, as you can see here, once you transfer those in, these are the classes that you would have left and you would wanna go ahead and pre-study these classes. So I'll be honest with you, most of these are relatively easy. You know, it's still worth it to pre-study them, but don't spend too much time pre-studying the easy ones. Focus on the ones kind of at the bottom that are a little more difficult. Now, once you feel confident about your knowledge and your skill set, and you think that you can knock these classes out really quickly, go ahead and roll in WGU and start knocking the classes out as fast as you can. And then the final step is for you to brag to all of your friends and family that you were able to get a bachelor's degree in one year. 
and everyone is going to think you're a genius. But if you're really nice, you'll point them to this video so they can do this for themselves. Now, one thing I do want to mention again, because sometimes I get comments about this, WGU is a phenomenal option for a lot of people out there, but there are some downsides to it. So I talk about that in this video right here. Make sure you check that out.